We believe we can all agree that there are some unusual vehicles on the road, and today we discovered 20 bizarre vehicles that you won't see every day. Good day everyone, hello and welcome back to another exciting video. Today we will show you the epic, crazy vehicles that will blow your mind. But first, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell icon to ensure you never miss a video from us. Number 20. Ron Patrick, a daredevil from California, has installed a 1500 jet engine in the back of his new VW Beetle, giving it extreme acceleration. He spent $200,000 to install the massive engine in the back of the small hatchback. With the new boost in power, the car can now exceed the speedometer's maximum speed of 140 miles per hour. Patrick says he frequently enjoys driving his car late at night, where it is frequently stopped by curious police officers. Number 19. Colin Furs built his do-it-yourself hover bike with no steering, seat, or brakes by strapping two-stroke Parajet motors and propellers to a metal frame. The aircraft's initial design features two motors and propellers mounted on the bottom of the frame and turning in the same direction. However, after converting to an S-shaped frame, each propeller was able to rotate in the opposite direction. The counter-rotation of the propellers appeared to reduce the gyroscopic spin. Number 18. Dean Shore, a mechanic, built this street-legal Viper. It was built from a Jeep with a small-block Chevy V8 engine, which we believe powered the original spaceships. Number 17. This Decapod concept is unique in the automotive industry. The Decapod is a rideable, one-of-a-kind work of art inspired by the 1930 Henderson Streamliner. Each one is legal for the streets and has been signed and numbered by the artist. The hand-formed aluminum body is mounted on a new Vespa Piaggio automatic setup through scooter with a body shell weighing 30 pounds and a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Number 16. Zhang Jonlin, 62, has been tinkering away at an old warehouse for the past few years, building a submarine with his friends. It seats 20 people and is capable of reaching speeds of 15 nautical miles per hour and depths of around 50 meters. The entire structure is made of stainless steel and weighs approximately 25 tons. Number 15. Curtis Hutchinson, who grew up in Muncie, Indiana, said he never had a red radio flyer wagon to ride around the neighborhood with his friends. He, his wife, and friends can simply sit in one and drive around town after 65 years. The wagon can reach speeds of up to 90 miles per hour thanks to a 350 small block Chevy engine and a turbo transmission. Number 14. A man from China spent two months creating this bizarre creation out of metal in an old engine. The end result lacks the grace and beauty of a real horse, but it's still an impressive engineering feat. He was inspired by the story of a Chinese ruler who is said to have invented the first mechanical horse. Number 13. Colorado welder Rex Bailey built this high-riding snowplow by mounting tires from an agricultural sprayer onto an old Dodge 3500 diesel pickup truck. Rex made spokes, axle mounts, and the truck's rear end with a commercial plasma cutter. The 76-inch wheels allow the truck to drive through three feet of snow and most off-road terrain. It even has a tilt gauge to warn the driver if the vehicle is about to tip over. Number 12. Lars Eric Lindbergh's Hot Rod is made up of fiberglass Model T replica mounted on a frame above a Bonneville Duet station wagon, which is powered by a Chevy V8 engine. Underneath, he installed the tracks and suspension from an Arctic Cat snowmobile, allowing the vehicle to cruise at 100 miles per hour across Sweden's frozen lakes. They took about 500 hours to build and cost $15,000 to do so. Number 11. Rick Sullivan wasn't looking for his next project when he received a call to transport an overturned Ford Ranger to his shop. But when he saw the pickup truck on its roof with four wheels protruding into the air, he had an idea. At first glance, it appears to be a red and white Ford pickup truck on its roof, but it's actually a 1991 Ford Ranger with a 1995 F-150 body placed over the top upside down, complete with spinning tires. Number 10. Art Haynes, a designer from Maine, had the idea of creating his own solar car. When he pitched the idea of having high school students help him build the car to his local civics group, it was well received. He and eight students discussed the project and came up with a list of car specifications. 
Haynes then created a prototype for the solar car on his computer, and the Solar Neighborhoods electric car was born. Number 9. Arthur Van Poppel, a Dutchman, had created his own drivable Mini F-35, and the plane is incredible. It's a scaled-down version, and it doesn't come with a Mini helmet, but you can drive it like a car, and you can't help but be impressed by the level of detail. Number 8. Bob Dollum is possessed by many things, the most important of which is the desire to build a working replica of Batman's current generation Batmobile, the Tumbler. The afterburner, the huge honking double barrel wheels, and the stealthy look on all the edges are all present in this recreation. Dollum pieced it all together from available photos and the movies themselves. He welded it himself in his garage, and if you're assuming he has an impressive bat suit to go with it, you'd be correct. Number 7. This is the epitome of a hipster vehicle. Retro and tacky, but still awesome. Who's afraid of the zombie apocalypse? That's what you'll say if you own this completely awesome, bugged out tank. Number 6. The 1973 Volkswagen Beetle, which had half tracks and missile launchers and kept America safe for years, is now up for sale. The car, which began as a stock CC Type 1 Beetle, was dramatically modified. The rubber tracks that replace the rear wheels are the most obvious, but it also appears that the front has been protected with the strongest armor known to man, another old VW hood. Number 5. When I say homemade, I don't mean it literally, because we couldn't find out anything about this tractor, tricycle, or amphibious vehicle, or who made it or what kind of motor it has. Regardless, we felt compelled to show it to you from the moment we saw it, because we don't often get to see such great all-terrain vehicles. This can literally run through bushes, mud, water, and over rocks. Number 4. It doesn't get any better than this when it comes to embodying one's passion and devotion for automobiles. This amazing replica of the famous American muscle car also includes its own Briggs & Stratton engine. This little superbird has it all, and the designer came up with the perfect replica of the real thing after a lot of hard work and impeccable precision and details. He did an excellent job, and we congratulate him on this creation. Number 3. A car enthusiast has converted a once sunken boat into a road legal drivable vehicle. After his wife Robin bet him that he couldn't do it, Mark Ray designed and built his dream motorboat. He spent $8,000 combining a GMC Jimmy and re recovered Sea Rainbow Rider. After removing the boat's motor, outdrive, interior, and floor, he combined it with a car that had been disassembled, leaving only the chassis, seat, and motor. Number 2. The Maverick LS design was created to be an easy-to-use air and land craft. It is simple and safe for people in frontier areas of the world to fly or drive, allowing them to use this unique vehicle in humanitarian applications and healthcare services, as well as interacting with fellow citizens. Number 1. What if there was a DIY vehicle platform that was not only inexpensive, but also street legal, open source, and versatile with the option of an electric drivetrain or an integrated hybrid engine? The Tabby is the original platform, and it isn't necessarily intended to be street legal, though it could be modified to be so. The blueprints and plans can be downloaded, modified, and distributed to others. This could be a great starting point for creating your own custom vehicle, or it could even be used as an educational tool. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked it, please tell your friends about it and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and up-to-the-date information. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.